Well, howdy. The name's Vex, and welcome back to East Origin. Last time, we got our shit kicked in by Kishkal. Uh, Lady Fino was taken before our very eyes, and Unica is in quite a bit of a, p a funk. She's also in a bit of a pickle because of her conflicting emotions. So now we have to talk to people. I, um, figured out that I needed to talk to Rico in order to get my axe a little bit stronger, so now it's at level 3. Uh, this was after... I could have warped down to the search party's base after the arthropod fight, and then Rico would have given me a bit of an upgrade. I should have done that, but I didn't, so, yeah, whatever. And we're all confused as to why Rhea and Fina have taken the Black Pearl. Once again, that is pretty much the source of all magic within Ys. To, to these characters' best knowledge. Father Superior really showing that he is superior, giving our protagonist a bit of a pick-me-up. Sup, Dino. Oh, don't... Don't think that way, Unica. A baby magician versus your giant axe? Nah. You're here to save the ladies, Unica. Come on, snap out of it.
Get to the point, Roy. She doesn't do subtlety. There you go, Roy. Just direct. Speak with her like she's a person, damn it. Hit things really hard and stumble your way to success. <laughs> that's the best. That's the best description of Unica I've ever heard. Don't, don't pat my head. That's a lewd. I mean, the proof is in the pudding, ladies and gentlemen. Head pats give strength. All right. Let's, uh... Oh, right, I grinded a little bit. I'm level 26 now. <laughs> I've got quite, quite a bit of good things going on. Turns out I was severely underleveled for the fight against Kishgal. Oh, I also beat these three and unlocked the, the statue. All right. Now that Unica has finally found herself, it's time to go claim the Crimson Lotus Blade. A very powerful weapon. Once we get it, it will unlock the next set of places we need to go to, somehow. Conveniently built that way, I guess. And there it is, in all of its fiery glory. Look at that beauty. Oh. What? It's Ghost Dad. I don't know how, <laughs> but Ghost Dad's here. Bill Cosby. Oh my god, you are a rugged man. <laughs> 
Look at that chin. That is a man. Alright, Phoenix Flame is a very powerful skill. Sets out a Phoenix in front of Unica. Passes through enemies. And the longer you charge it, the bigger the Phoenix is. So let's go ahead and see what it does. Boom, right there, baby. Boom. I like it. I like it a lot. Of course, we only have level 1 on it. But it also has a ton of strength behind it, so... Use it for a while. My first playthrough, I ran with it pretty much since I got it. I think the most useful skills to me, I think they all have their, you know, their strengths. But I think the one I used the most was the Phoenix, the Crimson Lotus Blade, and probably the Air one. Let's go ahead and save. Because now we have... Oh, <laughs> hey dude, you weren't supposed to do that. Kill this guy, he'll be annoying. So now, we can do this. Light torches. <laughs> I'm so worried about not being able to make jumps. And there's that one. Really? Okay, we'll just grab this chest. Get our bolt crash up. Oh, we also get new enemies. That giant thing. I don't know what to call it. They all have names. I don't know what their names are. Pretty sure one of them's called a jabroni. A jambone.
Oh, I don't like the. <laughs> I'm I'm not fond of this room because of those. Just ow, ow, ow. Okay. That's why I don't like these. They don't get hurt. I don't like how they don't get hurt. Don't worry. <laughs> it's fine. I'm not dying. <laughs> Next floor. I believe we have a boss fight coming up. Here soon, and it's not a boss I'm particularly fond of. Just like the last one. I think in all, in total, I died to the boss that's coming up. My very first playthrough... Gosh. Probably about six times. Maybe even more than that. Alright, and rubies are the things we use to increase our Phoenix Flame. Meaning we now have way, way more power. I don't remember, is there something down here? I don't think there is, no there's not. That was just a waste. At least we can see the, that guy swimming in lava down there, not getting hurt. I guess that's a bonus. Why well, did I put that on? No. Purify, thank you. All right, the Devil's Corridor. Ah, uh, okay. So the Devil's Corridor... Oh, right, fuck me. So I can't just... Right. So the Silver Harmonica, if you read the description, was is an item that, that dispels evil energy. All right, dispel evil. We need to call Viola. Sickening music. kind of blatant with this. <laughs> I like how she doesn't know how to play the song the first time. Man, that was shitty. You need to remember the song right. As fast as possible and hope to find some sort of exit along the way. Yeah. There is always the crystal. I think we can... Oh wait, no, I know. I remember what we need to do. Her health drops so fast! I think we're also sp supposed to use the boost there. So yeah, now we have this Rue here. Don't know what it's saying. It's saying something. Look this road of fruit, babe. Th 
the swords clipping through the ground. <laughs> All right. Let's go in here. No. how powerful that thing is. Boom! Oh, yeah. It's cathartic in a way, you know? I probably missed one. Now again, dick. That was all of them. Nice. All right, what's in here? Stuff. Okay. I'm <laughs> behind you. You stupid thing. What are you even? Ooh. Oh, get out of there. There's so many chests in here. I don't think I'm going to a chest. I swore I was going up to a chest, but apparently not. And right back into the fire. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Like that. Oh, I think... Okay, yeah, I was supposed to drop down there and then jump. It's all about remembering. It's all about remembering. Just for safety's sake. What's in here? The leg guards. More armor. Lovely armor. Another run back. Ooh. That is over here. I th mm. I 
think we can come back later and get what's in that chest over on the other side. I'm not sure though. these things so much. Every aerial enemy in most of these engine East games are terrible. I hate them so much. I'm not a fan. And go die in a guilty fire for all I care. big guy. I gotta go this way and light a fire. Now I gotta go the other way and light a fire. They'll set in Panacea. Good. Oh, now we're back to where we started over here. <laughs> this place is just way too big. Oh, right, I remember. To get this chest, you need to put. You need to. God damn it. You need the light fires. Right there, right there, right there, right there, yeah. Now I remember. I'm mixing things up. Alright. Get that. No, oh, thank you. Thanks for the boost, pal. I should be beating these guys up, shouldn't I? Is that good enough? I think it's good enough. That one on fire should be one over here now. And then the last one would be in a place I haven't been yet, which is up, I guess. Just gotta check all the corners, man. Follow me onto the bridge. Funnel yourselves. Ow. 
That's rude. Don't do that. I like it especially when they start grouping up like that. Just bam. Just, there's nothing. There's nothing they can do. Did mess up. Was it, um... Well, we have this here anyway. For a nice quick save. And one way for we find that last torch to light. You can just pop in there, grab the chest, and leave. Must be some place... Over this way? Yeah! Yeah! I never came over here. Oh, isn't this a crazy room? Oh. Well, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to kill the guys. But, uh... Oh. <laughs> it just automatically put me here. Don't even worry about it. I know there was the... There was more to the spiral tower, part of the tower, when we were going up. I want to see what was that, what that was all about. Oh, it is not a barrier. Oh. Oh. We missed some Claria ore. See, it was worth coming back up here. I'm... <laughs> I'm smart. Uh, let's use the Panacea. And... Let's warp... Back down to the base. Get our shit fixed up before we go into that room. Which I know is going to take a while. Let's see. Go ahead and strengthen the armor. And speak to haircut. Alright. I ah, know, Rico. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Take this Clearia ore for me. Thanks, nerd. Okay. Let's go ahead and save again. Well, no, we'll go ahead and save when we get back up there. Can you believe we're already almost halfway through the tower? It's not that big, apparently. Okay, let's get this started. Same rules apply when I die. I pretty much just skip all the fights between the first death and my victory. I don't like this. I don't like this fight. Oh god. Oh, also the frame rate dies a little bit. <laughs> Isn't he a beauty? Look at him, he's so cute. <sighs> okay. He does that. And somehow hits me. So the goal is to mainly get the gears off of his hands. And then he does this. I don't... I don't know why they loaded him up with so much shit. And summon that shit, and then summon 
more enemies. It's just not. Like, I don't, I don't know. He does that. Oh, I just... Oh, come on. That was all. It's halfway dead now. Stop following me, you dumb chicken. Of course you explode. There we go. <laughs> Overall, I think I did fairly well in that first try. Alright, well, see you when I beat him. Bitch, why? doesn't have a hand.
fuck. That's a, that's a clench fight. You're oh oh my god. Not a fan. Not a fan of that fight whatsoever. It's not. Oh oh my gosh. Like, there's nothing else to say other than the. But with that, we enter the silent sands. Purify the statue. I grind it a little bit more. Yeah. Thanks for watching.